Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. I'm um, just going to um, show you a bit of a different video today actually. I've had a delivery um, of stuff that I'm going to be putting on my website. Um, so I've got um, a delivery of paint here that we're getting in that will be available on the website soon. And this is from Vintage with Grace. So I've got various items here. It arrived today. I actually missed the delivery on Friday. It was actually due to come on Friday, but I just popped out to go to um, school and I wasn't quite back yet. So... Um, these are the bits and pieces and the goodies that we are going to be putting on the website and also I'm going to stack them on my shelf but I'm just going to spin round and show you um, the bits I've got on the shelf already. So I've emptied the top two shelves here to put the paint on and as you can see I've started getting some Mod Podge in here. I've just got the mat in at the moment so I've got the four ounces and the 16 ounces. I'll be doing some projects on the channel so what my plan is to do a project and then also have the items to sell so we'll do a heart and then you can buy the napkin or the paint or the bits and bobs to go with it um, so I've got some hearts in there now at Christmas time we'll be doing some um, Christmas decorations so some bauble decorations so we've got all of those in there and they will be available to buy in kits as well there'll also be some wreaths so um, I've got um, a wreath form there in like a metal like a wire should I say We've got some stencils that we'll be doing and also I'll be doing a tissue box. We'll be decorating a tissue box and I've got a few of those to pop on the website and then one to show you how we um, how we do it as well. So obviously we've got the napkins and everything in the drawers. So things are slowly coming together. The bits are slowly coming together. I've also got lots of lace as well that I'm thinking I'll pop on. Um, we could perhaps do some kits and things, put some kits together. Incidentally, if you haven't seen the, the napkins, I'll just show you those now. So I'm just keeping them in these drawers for now. And these are all the napkins. And we, we're going to be doing projects with decoupage. And once my website's working properly, I'll be able to list all these on for sale. So that's going to be pretty exciting. We've also got lots of rice paper and stuff in there as well. So they'll all be available at... Um, really good prices and there's some extra bits in the bottom there too so stay tuned that is going to be coming but I am going to show you now the bits that I've got from Vintage with Grace okay so let's jump in and we'll have a look what we've got I think I've got some brushes down there that I've ordered as well from somewhere else that we'll be putting on so start off with the first box I've ordered some of the larger pots of paint and I've ordered some smaller ones and I've ordered more smaller just so we can get an idea of colours and things like that um, we will be doing projects with these, so um, these will be on the channel. I've got a few cupboards and bits and bobs that I want to be doing, so I'll be doing those as well. So that's the Grandma's Pearls. Uh, these are slightly larger than some of the tins. They are a litre. Some of them are only 750, but these are a litre. So I won't show you them all like this. I did buy two Grandma's Pearls because we'll be doing a project with those. And this is the size... I also got this is the portobello in the grey and this is the 250 mil but you do get quite a bit and it goes quite a long way so these smaller tins might be enough and these are the two sizes that we'll be doing we're doing the large one and the smaller one and we might possibly be getting some like sampler pots as well but that's just in the pipeline Rachel's looking into that at the moment so uh, there's the olive I'd like to do some samples for you guys, like maybe paint them on some spoons or something, just so you can see what they're like. And that's another one of the Portobello. So um, I ordered a good selection. Obviously, it's all in here sort of mismatched. These are the clear. I think I ordered three of the clear. Um, I have got the dark one over there myself, but I've just gone for the clear on the website. Obviously, I'll be adding more and more as time goes on. And, um, you know, we'll be adding bits as we go. Right, we'll have a look in this next box here. I have, we've got some brushes. I've got that brush and then it's in this other box to the side here. I've got a few more of the chalk paint brushes. So they will be on the website. And I've got some large tins. These are the large tins. That one's Belgium lace. So again, it's quite a light, it's quite a light one. I've got projects in mind for these, for these colours. The Portobello is another large one because I've got a project in mind for that. I mean, right, this is the um, the last box now. So a lot of these will be the 250 smaller size. But look at how 
gorgeous some of these pillars are look that's the um daresbury and hopefully guys it will inspire you to have a go as well so i'll just open a few more and what we'll do because all these are 250 i'm going to open this box and then i'm going to put them on the shelf and we'll show you them um, out on the shelf there finished varnish as well this is great varnish to go over the top um, of the chalk paint so you can use the varnish or you can use the wax now these size pots are going to be ideal for if you're doing craft projects where you don't want to have like a huge pot um, so we'll be using these on some of these projects as well um, so keep an eye out for that because as I say they're really handy and um, you can just kind of store them and it's easy to store them with the big ones Right, so they're all on the shelf and how cool do they look so hopefully we're doing some projects in some of these and getting some of these on the website soon and the brushes are down the bottom so I'm really chuffed because I like things to look nice even though they're kind of like just being stored in the summer house so I just like them to look you know to look good as well I'll just also show you some of the brushes that I've got they're not um, vintage with grace but they are some for crafting so I'll just quickly show you those as promised Right, so here we go. There's a few of the brushes that will be available for sale as well. So they can be, uh, they're great for crafting and stuff. There's some decoupage brushes down here. So it's going to take me quite some time to list all this. And obviously the, um, the stuff we sell is going to grow. The paint range is going to grow, um, you know, and, and everything will grow over time. So, uh, yeah, that's um, a delivery I thought I'd share with you guys. So there we go. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all okay. I hope you've enjoyed watching this little unboxing and I'll see you all again very soon. Take care. Bye for now.